today's video is going to be an empties video. I have the most enormous bag of empties. I can't even lift it to show it to you. It's on my floor. I'll insert a picture. I have been collecting garbage pretty much for three months, so this is long overdue. I filmed a get ready with me. It's probably up by now. It's not on this look, even though I just filmed it. I filmed it. I went outside to try to break some of the ice that's out there because we can't get to our car, and my makeup was like everywhere. So I took it all off, redid it, and I really kind of wish I would have done the get ready with me on this look because it's like a purple and pink kind of like a smoky eye. I have lashes on and yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. So if you guys like this and you want a tutorial on it, let me know because I'm kind of itching to do a makeup tutorial. I've never actually done just like an eye look or, you know, like a makeup tutorial. I've always done get ready with me's. Anyway, I'm starting the empties. I have a ton of crap, as I said, so this video is probably going to be long, so grab a drink, grab a cookie, and let's rock. Okay, seriously, I have a thousand candles. I'm going to very quickly go through them. Most of them are from Bath & Body Works, but there's a couple other ones thrown in. This is the Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works. It smelled absolutely amazing. So good at Christmas time. Love this candle. I have Fresh Balsam from Bath & Body Works. I have Winter. This is my favorite candle from Bath & Body Works. I think I have one, two, three, four. I have five of these. So you can see how long I've been collecting. This is Fireside. This one I didn't care for. It reminded me of just like burning wood. Some people may like that. I constantly felt like my house was burning down. I'm like, something's on fire. Sending the kids around to see if something's burning. And it was this candle. I have Marshmallow Fireside. This one I liked, but I'm not that big into the smell of marshmallow. So I, it wasn't my favorite. I have a Snow Days one. This one I really, really liked. Peppermint Sweet Vanilla and Spruce Branches. This one smells Incredible. I wish they sold these all year because I would still be burning snow days and winter, but they don't have them anymore. And then the last one I have is Frosted Cranberries. This one was okay. I'm not into super sweet candles. I like them to be more, I don't know, like the Christmas tree scent and like the winter one is more of like spruce and... I don't know. This one was a little sweet for me. I'm not that sweet. I don't need sweet candles. Oh, and I found another Snow Days. Oh, good grief. I have a Banana Boat Summer Color Deep Dark Color. This is what I have on right now as my tanner. And my face looks a lot lighter than my body, but I swear in person it matches. Anyway, this stuff is like $5 at Walmart. I think Target carries it also. It is so good. I've used the San Tropez, all of the pricey ones. This one is just as good. It's a lotion and you just rub it on and as long as you wash your hands when you're done, it doesn't get streaky or patchy and it comes off nicely like as you're losing your tan. It doesn't get really weird so that people can tell that you've been self tanning. I love this stuff. It's all I use. I've probably been using it for over a year now and this is the only self tanner that I have bought. They also have a mist which also works really well but I like the lotion a little bit better. So there you go. I have three of my Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Body Butters. If you guys follow me, you know that this is my crack. I love this stuff. I have, I think they might all be vanilla apricots. Oh no, I have one sweet citrus. I have one sweet citrus and two vanilla apricot. We're going to move on. You guys know how I feel about this stuff. Obviously, it doesn't want to be on camera. It's a little camera shy. I have this L'Oreal Evercream Nourishing Leave-In Spray, sulfate-free. It's a leave-in conditioner. I literally scraped this bottle. I love this stuff so much. It's just a spray in cream, which is odd. It usually sprays are like a liquid. This is more of a cream, but I just put this in when my hair is wet and I just let it air dry and it makes my hair so soft and frizz free. It is honestly, oh my God, I love it. 
Next I have a Borghese Gentle Foaming Gel for Bath and Shower. I'm sorry, I just like screamed so loud there. This stuff is my new obsession. I have another bottle in the bathroom right now. Can you kind of see that color? It's a really pretty blue color and it smells kind of herbally, but oh, it just makes your skin feel so soft and it foams up nicely. It smells really good. It is pricey, but if you're looking for like a high-end fancy shower gel, oh my gosh, and I use this as bubble bath also. It doesn't foam up that good like a normal bubble bath, but it does the job. Love, love, love. I almost hit myself in the face a little bit. Ah! Oh, I have another Banana Boat Summer Color. So I didn't realize I went through two of those. I have a few things from Bath & Body Works. I have the Merry Marshmallow Kiss Bubble Bath. Is this packaging not adorable? I don't know what. I don't want to throw this away because I think it's so cute. Did you hear that? Anyway. <laughs> I don't know what I don't want to throw this away because I think it's so cute did you hear that anyway this is a bubble bath and I think Bath and Body Works does the best bubble baths they get super bubbly in the water and give you lots of bubbles I'm like a five-year-old where I need to have a lot of bubbles in my bath and you guys probably know that I take a bath over a shower. I never shower. I take a bath every day. I know that may be odd, but that's that's how I roll. And then I have the Twilight Woods Bubble Bath. This is my favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It's very like musky and kind of manly. It's not a girly scent. I am not into girly scents. These are the kind of scents that I like, so yeah. I, I seriously don't think I can throw this away. Is that weird? It's just so cute. I just want to like, I don't know. Okay, moving on. I have a toothpaste. This is the Crest 3D White Luxe Glamorous White. This toothpaste, you guys, I just tried this on a whim. Like I grabbed it just, you know, whatever. I just thought I'd try a new toothpaste. I have not whitened my teeth in, I think, three months. This... This whiteness, I don't know how white they look on camera, but in person, they're really white. It's from this. Noticeably will make a difference. If your teeth are starting to look a little bit dingy or yellow, try this where you will notice a difference. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, next up, we have some tongue foam. Did you think you'd hear that in this video? This is the Aura Brush Tongue Foam. I cannot find this stuff anymore. I love this stuff. I brush my tongue every day. I, I think people do. I mean, I do, so I don't really care what other people do, but you just use this. It's a little foam, and you put it on a tongue scraper, and you scrape your tongue. I cannot find this anymore. I have looked everywhere. If any of you know where I can get this, can you please let me know, because I'm dying without my tongue foam. This stuff is bomb. It makes your tongue really clean, and it makes your breath smell good, and your mouth just feels nice. When I don't brush my tongue, my mouth feels bleh, disgusting. TMI? Maybe. Who cares? This is the L'Oreal Youth Code Serum, and I also have the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. No doubt about it, the texture per... <laughs> Let's try that again. The Texture Perfector is absolutely incredible. Best drugstore serum that I have ever used. I don't care for this one. It was okay, but I didn't notice any difference with my skin. This one, I seriously, I'm using one right now. I'm almost out of it. It's almost empty. I use it every single day. It makes my skin so soft and it just oh my gosh, noticeably will make your skin feel so much better. Yeah. No. Yes. That was weird. I have three of my Beauty Blender cleansers. This is the solid one. And when you get this, it's just like this little round bar of soap that goes in here. And then it has this little like a drainer thingy on it. When I first saw this stuff, I was like, that is such a gimmick. I'll just use baby shampoo. After using this, I am hooked. I will never ever use anything else to clean my Beauty Blender. It is 
I don't know what's in here, but it gets your beauty blender or your makeup brushes. I've been using this for my makeup brushes also. Gets them so incredibly clean. It's like I have no idea what the freak they put in here, but it is so good. It is worth every penny. I cannot ever be without this stuff. I have two of my Lancome by Facil. This is my favorite eye makeup remover. It's very pricey. And lately I've been using my CVS brand, but oh man, I freaking love this stuff. It takes your makeup off so easily. It doesn't tug at your eyes. It doesn't burn your eyes and it's not greasy. When I first started using this, I thought it was kind of greasy, but the more I use it, the more I realize that compared to other eye makeup removers, oh, so good. I have a ton of mascara because I cleaned out my mascara drawer, so I'm not going to spend too much time on each one. I'll just kind of tell you if I liked it or didn't like it. The first one I have is the Rocket from Maybelline. Everybody raves about this mascara, and I honestly do not see what the big deal is. It doesn't give me length. It doesn't give me that much volume. I don't know what all the hype is about. But I don't really care for this. I will not be repurchasing. I have two of the Maybelline Mega Plush. This I like on an everyday basis. This is a very nice mascara. It gives you length. It curls your lashes really nicely. But it's not like bang, boom, you have big, crazy lashes. This is just... <laughs> this is more of just an everyday mascara. I have false lashes on today, so... Not that that matters. I have a CoverGirl Clump Crusher. Favorite drugstore mascara besides my Jordana Best Lash. This stuff is so good. It's what I've been using pretty much every day. And it's just everything about it is perfect. Length, volume, it doesn't clump, it doesn't smudge. So good. I have the Benefit Professional and we need to have a talk. So you guys know, if you follow me, I had this one for a really long time, so I went out and bought a new one. I used it a couple times, and I thought the problem was that this one was old. The more that I use the new one, though, it's starting to do that flaky thing on my skin again. So when I first started using it, I liked it. I talked about it in my primer video, my Take It or Trash It, and I'm like, oh, it's so good. It was This was old. But it's starting to do that same thing again, and I'm thinking that I may not like the professional. I don't know. We're going to have to do, I'm going to have to do like an updated video because I kept using the L'Oreal Youth Code um, Pore Vanisher, the one that I said I didn't like because so many of you messed it. <laughs> So many of you messaged me and said to keep using it because it was really good and I'm starting, it's starting to grow on me. So I think I need to do an updated primer video. If you guys would like to see that, let me know because I feel like there's some things I need to clarify. But anyway, all that for this. I have a mini professional and I still don't like it. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 220. I had this thing forever. It doesn't even really like give off any powder anymore because it's so old, so I'm getting rid of it. But it is a nice powder. It's a really nice powder. And I have the Clinique Almost Powder Makeup in Neutral. This baby is gone. This I really, really liked. I used this as a powder foundation and it worked really well. I don't really use powder anymore because I've gotten really dry in the past like year and a half. But when I was a little bit more oily, this was what I used and I just kind of had it and I'm like, all right, I have to get rid of you. So it's going. And the last thing I have is the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Polish in Mellow Yellow. This little guy is like way down here. These nail polishes are amazing for water marbling. So if you guys do water marbling, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, so good. And that's what this one was used for. All right, guys, so we have finally come to the end. That is it for my empties. That was about two to three months of garbage. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you want to see an updated primer video. I think I need to do it because there are some things that we need to discuss. So yeah, I love you guys. I will see you probably tomorrow with my jelly sandwich tutorial. So I'll see you guys then. Bye. Do you guys know how good it feels to be back at my desk? I just feel like I'm home. Home, home on the range where the deer and the antelope play. Is that how it goes?
I don't think so. I have three of the beauty blush. Who do that? I'm not one of them. I cannot. 